Which of the following relations are also functions? We have choice 1 to 4. And the key idea is understanding the definition, the, the difference between the def definitions of functions versus relations. Now functions must pass the vertical line test, whereas relations do not have to. They're more flexible. They're, they're, uh, functions um, is contained within relations. So let's look at this uh, choice number one. We have the point 0, 2. So this here is 0, 2, 1, 2 over here. 1, 4. We have 1, 4 around here. We have 3, 6, 2, 3, around here. And we have 4, 5. We have 4, 5 around here. 4, 3. So 4, 1, 2, 3. So the, the key idea here is that we have two different dots in the set. This curly bracket means set that uh, uh, such that we fail the vertical line test. If you draw a vertical line, we're hitting the graph twice. So immediately, this is incorrect. Now let's test out choice number two. <clears throat> y equals 2x plus 5. We know this here is our slope intercept form. This here is the y intercept. And so this is going to be a line that crosses the y-axis at 5 and has a slope of 2. So it's going to look like this, a straight line. And of course, a straight line passes the vertical line test everywhere. So this is correct. This relation is also a function. Now, this is a word problem. The output is 6 more than half the input. Now, the word output when talking about functions, you can think of it as your y value. So the y, the y value is six more than half the input. So the input is x, half the input is one half x. The output is six more than, six more than half the input is gonna be plus six. Because this is half the input and plus six is six more than half the input. So this is the uh, line equation we're, we're thinking about. And when you think, when you can visualize the line equation, this being the 6 being the y-intercept, a slope of a half would be something that, look, that looks like this. So this here again is a straight line. It's going to pass the vertical line test everywhere. So this here is also a function. And this parabola here, this quadratic, this here also passes the vertical line test everywhere. Every single line we, we draw, it's only crossing once. So choices 2, 3, and 4 are all correct.